Hi guys and welcome to our reading time. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Before I've been reading us different picture books and now what we're going to do is we're going to be reading for the next few weeks what are called nursery rhymes. And so these nursery rhymes are short poems for young children and have been around for hundreds of years. So that means scholars, parents, and grandparents may have heard of some of these before when they were young. And you guys might have heard of some of these before as well. So a lot of people have heard these and they are called nursery rhymes. They're called nursery rhymes because nursery is another name for young child's bedroom. And so a lot of people would sing or say these nursery rhymes to kids when they were going to sleep as a bedtime story. And so that's why they're called nursery rhymes. Now they're called rhymes as well because the end of the word is sounds the same for some of them. And so they are rhyming words, which we'll talk about a little bit more after we read this our nursery rhyme for today. Now you might also hear nursery rhymes be called mother goose rhymes. People have different th thoughts. They think maybe mother goose was a real person, maybe she wasn't. But people think that she might have been the person who wrote all of these nursery rhymes. So that's why we call them Mother Goose Rhymes also. So you could either hear nursery rhymes or you could hear Mother Goose Rhymes. So now, like I said, we're going to be talking about rhymes. So for example, a rhyme could be cat hat. Now, we've been talking a lot about the first sounds and words that we hear. So we're not looking at those because those are going to be different. So in cat hat. Cat has a k sound and hat has a h sound. So those are different, but the ending, they sound the same. Cat, hat. They both have that at sound. And so they are rhyming words because the end part of the word sounds the same. So we're going to get a lot of practice with rhymes as we read more and more of these nursery rhymes. Now, quickly, thumbs up, thumbs down. I know I can't see you guys, but I still want you going along with me. Now, nursery rhymes are short poems that children often listen to at bedtime. If you think that's true, I want a thumbs up. If you don't think that's true, you're going to put a thumbs down. I'll read it one more time. Nursery rhymes are short poems that children often listen to at bedtime. So is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs up means yes, thumbs down means no. It is a thumbs up. They are short poems that children listen to at bedtime. Or they can listen to other times, but a lot of times it's at bedtime. Now, nursery rhymes have been passed down from parents to children for hundreds of years. Is that yes, is that true, or is that not true? It's true! Remember, your parents and your grandparents might have also heard these rhymes before. Now, most nursery rhymes do not use words that rhyme. So... Do nursery rhymes, do they use words that rhyme? Yes, do they rhyme or no, they don't rhyme? They do rhyme. All right, so now we're gonna get started and we're gonna look at our first nursery rhyme. So the first one we're looking at is this one right here. So these books, they don't have any words in it. You'll see they're just pictures. And then I have my book that tells me what the words are. So the important job for you guys right now is to listen and look at the pictures. All right, here we go. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. Now let's listen to it one more time. Roses are red. So these are roses, it's a type of flower. Violets are blue. These are violets, they're also a kind of flower. Sugar is sweet. So sweet is how sugar tastes. And so are you. So now I want you to try to do it with me. I know that I can't hear you guys, but I still want you to repeat after me. So I'm gonna go like this for when I speak and then I'm gonna go like that and you're gonna repeat after me. So here we go. Roses are red. Violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. Good job, guys. Thank you for following along with me. 
So now, this one is, remember, the red flower is a rose, and these blue ones are called violets. They're called violets. Now, when I'm thinking of words that were rhyming in that, I can hear, so I'm going to listen to it one more time. I want to really, really listen to which words were rhyming. So, roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. So if I listen to that, blue and you, those are rhyming words because they sound the same at the end. So those are what we were looking for. Those were those words that are rhyming. Now, we did a super good job. So like I said, we're going to be reading more and more of these nursery rhymes as we go. So every day you're going to be seeing this book, me holding this really big book, and your job is to look at the pictures and listen to what I'm saying and listen to the story, and we'll learn more and more about rhyming words. So I can't wait to keep reading these with you. Bye, guys.